What is up, Sneeples? We have in front of us here the Teclovasin, the Mecro Potent, a Shadow Mechanologist Demi Hero equipment. We have our second Demi Hero. This is what the Teclovasin Singularity card turns into. This is the flip version. It is a very interesting card indeed, and a huge one. So big that I think every Teclovasin deck will be playing this potentially could put him into a competitive meta from how good this card is so let's break that down real quick uh he has six attack uh you pay three to attack but on the attack trigger your opponent discards a card which is gnarly you don't even have to hit for that and then he has three intelligence which means you only get to draw three cards that's okay because you're making your opponent discard a card anyhow your mechanologist attacks up go again he all the evos equipment uh, all the keywords with them and he has battle warren and when you have a six block with battle warren that means you get to block for six and then you get to block for five and then four and three two one that's a lot of blocking which is pretty damn cool the last thing that you notice is that there is a star right by the life symbol and basically what that means is that Tecmo Vasin the Mechropotent absorbs your life. He becomes you and you become him. Your life total is now where that life symbol is, where it replaces the star. Uh, so whenever, whatever life total you were at when you transformed, that is what he has as his life total. And you become him and that you become an equipment. And that is the transition to our tier uh what we have here because you become an equipment as techno boston this is the cards you want to fear the most or opposite side these are the cards you want to play against your techno boston that's in your meta um we have it we're gonna go ahead and rank these here from if you'd already would have them into your deck to if it's not even worth playing let's get to it uh we're gonna put first off techno boston where he belongs in his own category and now let's go down the line so here we have a buckle now buckle works very great with buckling blow as buckling blow on crush puts a minus one counter on target equipment and then buckle has it has it where you, when you hit you destroy an equipment with a minus one counter on it now teclovasin already has battle warrants so that already puts minus one counters on them so you don't necessarily need buckling blow buckle should be just fine enough against uh the the hero the the equipment hero um so let's look at where we want the buckle to be we were seeing bravos play this card back in the lexi meta a way that you can destroy the new horizon to prevent lexi from having two arsenals so that was pretty good uh as of now lexi is still very much legal and so if that is the case i think i think it's a good bravo sideboard i don't think you main board it I've seen him have it main board a few times, and if you really want to, you can certainly have it main board as Lexi is a big thing. On top of that, it's a blue that costs three, that blocks for three, so is it a bad card? Nope, <laughs> it meets the standard. Uh, so it can honestly be main board, but uh, definitely I would say definitely a sideboard for multiple heroes with uh, Teclo Boss and really, really not liking this card. All right, next up, we have a little bit of a lesser known card. So let's go look at that Powder Keg. Whenever a Mechanologist gun you control hits, you may destroy Powder Keg and a Defending Equipment. Okay, so uh, Defending Equipment means probably you're only going to sideboard this only for Teclovasin, as in order for you to destroy Teclovasin, you'd have to block with Teclovasin. Um, and basically, this is an item, right? A powder cake item that's out there. That if you see it out there, you're not going to block with Tekla Vossen because you know, <laughs> you know it's going to get uh, destroyed if a gun hits. All right, and especially with how aggro Mechanos is probably going to be, Hanabi Blaster is a gun that will probably be in scene play. Uh, you can certainly play this as Tekla Vossen as it is a Mechanologist card for like the uh the mirror matches so it's a way to even you know be able to defeat the mirror but one big thing to notice about this card is that it costs zero which means that you can attack with a gun right uh if you're dash io you attack with a gun they don't or they block it right no problem no problem they block like maybe an earlier attack and then you you hit with your gun 
because you don't have a powder keg who cares but oh wait dash can play the powder keg from the top of the deck at instant speed you play that boom right before the damage uh goes off the trigger will still go off and then boom you just insta win because once the equipment is blown up you win the game uh so therefore powder keg can be very very cool if you're playing as the new dash okay next up we have exposed to the elements an elemental card to help destroy some equipment let's get into that it has earth and or ice fusion so this would have been perfect with our old boy oldham but he is no longer in the meta so we have to move on from that so what we're really looking at here is not the earth side the earth side puts a minus one counter on target equipment which is good which is good but we're looking at the ice side and there's two heroes that can do that uh one is lexi which can do it but probably wouldn't consistently be able to do it but the other one icelander could do it on a very consistent basis however there's a caveat to this if it's supposed to the elements was fused with an ice card we can do that not a problem destroying equipment with zero uh, unless they're uh, unless the hero pays to so we'd have to have Tekla Boston block all the way down to zero Therefore is this card really viable on top of that? They can even get out of it by just paying two. this cards not worth it This cards not good not worth playing if uh, Tekla Voss becomes big just it still doesn't do enough as Icelander You're just gonna have to do other stuff to get around it um, this might be where the non-wounded bull version would do a little bit better uh, just because that has no attacks all right next up we have shatter shatter is our warrior attack reaction so warrior gets a little something here which is kind of cool however it has to have be a two-handed weapon which you know unless you're doing dory axes that's probably going to be every weapon um, or if you're kasai doing sabers uh, i guess Bolton does Saber too. Okay, okay. Maybe maybe Warrior does have a lot of variety in weapons. Okay, anyhow. Until the end of turn, target two-handed weapon gains. When this would deal damage, uh, instead you may destroy defending equipment with power less than the damage that would be dealt this turn. Now, this is an attack reaction. So this can be a sneaky card, right? If you're coming in and you come in with like a Dawn Blade and, you know, maybe, maybe he has a bit of blocks on him. So he's not quite at six health, but maybe he is. Anyways, Tekla Boston seems like an easy block. You just put it right in front of the, the Dawn Blade, call it a day, right? Well, if you're able to pump that Dawn Blade up and then shatter, that might be all you need to instantly win the game. Because when you destroy that equipment, you destroy your opponent. Uh, yeah, that might be something to look into, but where's it, where's it go? Probably not worth I'm gonna be honest because the problem is is they have to block with the equipment and then you have to deal damage equal to its defending um, or, or or it has to actually you have to deal more damage uh, than it would be able to defend so it's probably pretty hard um, and if Tekla Vasana has like two defense or one defense he probably already did his job so, well, I mean, I guess if you win, you win. I guess that's the case, but I don't know. It's, I would say, probably not worth making a slot for. Okay, next one. We have another Guardian card, and this one's kind of new. Uh, this is Colossal Bearing. Uh, if this has 13 or more power, it gets when this hits a hero destroying equipment, they control one or less block. Yeah, again, this is, says one or less. It does destroy equipment, which is why it's on the less, but yeah, it's not worth it. It's not good. All right, now here's one that we know very, very well, and that's our, our boy Tomotai. Tomotai being able to destroy equipment um, by revealing two red cards. Um, however, in order to destroy equipment, the equipment does have to go to zero. So Tomotai himself probably isn't going to destroy a Tecmo Boston. Um, sadly, Tomotai will probably you know not do enough he might be able to put some negative one counters on tackle boston so he just doesn't block as good but he won't destroy it and so because of that tomotai for the reason of tackle boston wouldn't be good however tomotai if you are playing draw my big dragons that's just the main board card however if you are playing like the battle mage version that doesn't really play the big dragons but you're like oh well tomotai could help is 
I think he's not worth, to be honest. I don't think he's worth playing. Um, yeah. So, moving on, let's look at Liquify, a Draconic. So, this is another ax uh, card that Dromai has access to, but Fi has access to this card as well, as well as Amber. Uh, all right, Liquify. If Liquify is played at the chain link four or higher, target attack action card gains. When this hits here, put a minus one counter on the equipment they control. Then if it has zero, destroy it. Okay, again here, this is just a little too little. Like, too late, too little sort of deal. So, um, just not worth. Just not worth. It's just not doing as much. Uh, all right, let's get into these next cards here. Now, these next cards don't destroy the equipment. That's what I've noticed. Uh, that's why you won't see him here, but they do they do uh, Work against it. So in case in case dealing three damage to a target and then you can freeze uh, That hero and all equipment they control that means you freeze them, right? You freeze their attack you freeze their uh, like their ability to make you discard a card um, Yeah, that's that's kind of not bad uh, basically freezing a weapon um, which is pretty damn good uh, as well as they do get the evos equip um, abilities i don't think any of them are activated abilities though so i don't think that really matters but you do freeze them as a weapon that's probably pretty good um it, it can be a main board card for some icelanders um especially if lexi wasn't running <laughs> the trench but because lexi is running the trench it's not as good anymore but i'll keep it in the main board until we can get main board one card at least right and then finally we get a new card here this new card is stasis cell this is another way to just make an equipment not be able to be activated which basically means their weapon can't be activated because that is what this is is a weapon and it allows you to you know kind of keep that around um when it enters or leaves so it, it gives you two activations of it particularly if you're playing the new dash that's pretty good that's two activations to stop uh teclavasa from coming in which can help you maybe get enough uh damage through to win the game just in general or you know i don't know whatever the case that might just be two turns you need so i would say probably you could probably sideboard this for multiple heroes and feel fine with it and it might even be a main board card for Dash. I think it could be good enough for the new Dash to be a main board card. I would say I'd only really play it with the new Dash. Um, I don't think the other Mechanologist heroes are going to want to play it. Now, if you're Teclovasen and you want to play this card, I think you can do that too. Uh, but even the, the Powder Keg is a pretty good option. So, All right. I basically wanted to do this because... Where it's pretty damn scary that you are an equipment with Teclovasen. And if there's cards out there that destroy equipment, you lose the game. But ultimately, there's not a ton. Like, these two don't destroy your equipment, right? Buckle is probably your worst enemy. Maybe a sneaky powder keg, but, like, that's about it. So, if you're looking at Teclovasen and this scares you, be not afraid. This card is super cool, super good, and worth playing. Be more scared of hyper aggro decks that will kill you before you can get this set up. I think that's where <laughs> you should be more afraid of. But as far as being afraid, once you turn into Tekla Voss and the Macro Potent, I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay. Most heroes, as you can see here, don't have the tools to do it. Guardian has the best ones, but past Guardian, if you're not like a Mechanologist or maybe Icelander, you're not going to be able to really interact so much. So there you go, guys. That is the Teclo Vasen Mechropotent uh, sideboard cards against him tier list. It's a huge mouthful. I don't know how we're going to make that into a title. But guys, I appreciate you watching. We have a ton of content coming. A lot of limited content coming. So stick around for that. But until then, keep on fabbing.